Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1971 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup is between the Boston Red Sox and the Seattle Pilots at Brainiac Stadium. On the mound for the Red Sox today is Jim Lonborg, whose record is 0-1 with a 11.57 ERA. And pitching for the Pilots is Bruce Brubaker, whose record is 0-1 with a 3 ERA. Okay, a stellar performance yesterday from Dave Boswell. A complete game shutout in the sixth game of the season. That's kind of amazing, uh, especially after Boswell got clobbered his first start uh, to come back and get a shutout. Uh, saving our bullpen uh, really benefits us here as we wrap up the series today with an opportunity to maybe tie up the uh, four-game homestand. And then we have a day off. So after today's game, we'll go up here, we'll advance one day to get us back to Minnesota to play another three-game series against the Twins. That'll start tomorrow. Uh, so we're looking good bullpen-wise uh, wrapping up today. We'll, we'll throw everybody in there if we have to. Now, the weird thing about early season baseball games here in Baseball Mogul is if you're a starting pitcher, if you have a good start, the next start, you know, you're, you're going to get crushed because the game has got to even out your ERA to whatever your season average is supposed to be statistically. So with Dave Boswell giving up all those runs in the opening, uh, on opening day, for him to pitch a shutout makes total sense. Um, having said that, Jim Lonborg, in his first start of the year, gave up a ton of runs. He's got an 11.57 ERA. So I fully expect him to pitch a shutout today. And Bruce Brubaker, who has a 3 ERA, will probably um, you know, get taken out behind the woodshed. That's kind of what I anticipate happening. Um, we do have uh, another righty that we're facing. So that'll be good. We'll take a look at our lineup real quick. We did really well yesterday, mixing it up a bit. We're going to get Manny Sanguian back in there today. Um, I really liked what Mark Belanger did defensively. We had three double plays yesterday. He was a big part of that, but uh, Jerry Devanin is the better hitter. We're going to go with that. And, of course, Tommy Ag, a forcible day off because he's one for 18 this year. So I was watching uh, some baseball yesterday. And uh, they were saying that the number two spot is the new spot where you put your best player on your team. It's no longer the cleanup spot. And I'm like looking at the, our roster. <laughs> Who is the best player on our team? The best hitter? I mean, if you exclude Rich Rollins, who does have a couple home runs early on. I mean, Tito Fuentes has been so good in the leadoff role. We can't take him out of that. I guess it has to be Manny Sanguian, which is what we decided upon, uh, you know, like a couple of games ago before we gave him the day off. So we're going to go with Manny Sanguian batting second. I think we have to get Jose Cruz in the number three spot. He does have three doubles this year. And we'll go with the righty, uh, Darren Johnson, who struggled, and then Joey Pep, and then we go with Tommy Agee, Aurelio Rodriguez and um, Jerry Devan. And, and you know what? We will give Aurelio the day off today. He has started, uh, I think, every game, right? Has, uh, yeah, okay, Rich Rollins has started one game. So we'll get, we'll get um, Rich Rollins in there today and see if his uh, two home runs maybe can power up the team a little bit. So that'll be our lineup for today. Okay, let's go ahead and get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along, like and or subscribe to the channel. I did a bad job. Uh, I was not very eloquent in explaining uh, what I want uh, one of our giveaways to be this year. What I was trying to say yesterday, as I listened back to it, I did not do a good job of saying what I was trying to say, which is we will have a duck race coming up, probably in the beginning of July, in which any contestant who wants to get in on it, uh, whoever wins that duck race will get to choose the lineup for the all-star game for the american league team that we control right you can choose the starter and you can choose the eight players um that will be in the lineup so that'll be a fun little giveaway of course i'll have to <coughs> pardon me i'll have to play 
as the team, but you can choose the lineup. Any players you want that are in uh, on the All-Star team, uh, you get to choose. That's, that's what we're going to do. Okay. There's Bruce Brubaker, pitched six innings. His first start did really well. All the bullpen is rested and available. And then we've got uh, Jim Lonborg. We're going to do a deep dive on him. Kind of a fascinating guy. Uh, he is a right-hander, and we just saw the lineup. We don't need to do that. Again, let's go ahead and do the lineup for the Boston Red Sox. And they're mixing it up once again. This is interesting what they're doing with their lineup. Batting leadoff in center field is Rick Miller. Batting second at third base is Carmen Fanzone. Batting third in left field is Carl Yastrzemski. Batting cleanup in right field is Joe LaHood. Batting fifth in catching is Hal King. Batting sixth at first base is George Scott. Batting seventh at second base is Dalton Jones. Batting eighth at shortstop is Luis Alvarado. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Jim Lonborg. Okay, batting leadoff. A uh, batting leadoff. I'm sorry. Making his second start of the season is Bruce Brubaker, taking a look at what he did last year. Uh, he's 0-1 this year. Went six innings, gave up five hits. No walks. Two runs and five Ks. A really solid performance. Unfortunately, we lost that ball game. He's got a 92-mile-an-hour fastball. Ground ball percentage is 46.5%. The fastball and the slider both rated an 85. Overall rated an 80. The 29-year-old righty is arbitration eligible at the end of the 72 season. This is what we got to be afraid of over here. His health is a 67, so any minute his arm could fall off. Or maybe uh, he might just have a heart attack on the mound. I don't know what that means, but it cannot be good. Let's go ahead and take a look here at our defense. Joey Pep in right field with that 79 rating, not so great. We're going to have Rich Rollins at third. He's an 82. Certainly nowhere near the defensive player as Rodriguez, but he can get the job done. And we do have St. Guillen back behind the plate today for us. All right, here we go. Rick Miller leading it off versus Bruce Brubaker. Miller hitting 261 as a leadoff hitter. Strikes out. Brubaker with the K. Good start to the ball game. One down. Here is Carmen Fanzone batting 115. Fly ball into left center field. Play made by Jose Cruz. Two down. And that's going to bring up Yaz. Who takes ball four. There's the first walk. Issued by Brubaker this year. And now Joe LaHood's up. All LaHood did. In game two, is hit three home runs. Keep him to a single. That's our best option. And we'll take back-to-back -back walks. You know what? I don't mind that at all. If you're going to hit three home runs against us, I will probably give you a free pass as well. First and second, two down. This is about to get out of hand, I have a feeling. Here's Hal King. Batted 328 versus righties last year. And a hot shot pass. Rollins, it's 1-0. Nope. Two runs score on the double. So, so much for the fast start. First extra base hit for Hal King. And we pretty much know how this is going to go from here on out. Bruce Brubaker has to give up the runs to get that ERA up. 2 nothing. bottom of the first. Here we go. We'll take a look at the official lineup for the Pilots. Batting leadoff at second base is Tito Fuentes. Batting second and catching is Manny Sanguian. Batting third in left field is Jose Cruz. Batting cleanup at first base is Darren Johnson. Batting fifth in right field is Joe Pepitone. Batting sixth in center field is Tommy Agee. Batting seventh at third base is Rich Rollins. Batting eighth at shortstop is Jerry Devannon. And batting ninth is the pitcher Brubaker. Okay, let's talk about Jim Lonborg here. A lot of good info on this guy. 1963, he was uh, signed by Boston as an amateur free agent out of Stanford. Uh, his high school teammate, Mel Queen, married Jim Lonborg's sister. 
So Mel Queen is Jim Lonborg's brother-in-law, I guess. Um, in 1967, he won the Cy Young Award and was an all-star, his only all-star. He led the American League in wins, games started, strikeouts, and hit by pitches. So there's the stats right there if you want to take a look at it. Uh, he pitched in the World Series. He started three ball games against the Cardinals. He went 2-1 and one with a shutout in Game 2. Uh, he started Games 2, 5, and 7, so Game 7 he took the loss in. After the 1967 season, he injured himself skiing, and that's why his 1968 year was not so hot. He basically missed a good portion of uh, spring training and the early part of the year. He was never quite the same after that. Uh, in 1971, the season we're playing in real life, he was 10-7 and seven with a 4.13 ERA. That was his last year with the Red Sox. He was traded to the Milwaukee Brewers, or the Seattle Pilots, if you want to consider him that, uh, in 1972. It was a 10-player deal. He had a really great year, <laughs> excuse me, including having his best ERA. He went 14-12 and 12 for the Brewers with a 2.63 ERA. Then he moved on the following year to play for Philadelphia. His last year in the majors was 1979. For the Phillies, he went 0-1 with an 11-05 ERA. After baseball, he went to Tufts Dental School. He became a dentist, obviously. And uh, just of note, in the TV show Cheers, Sam Malone had a photo behind the bar which was supposed to be Sam Malone in his playing days for the Red Sox, but it was actually a picture of Jim Lonborg. There you go. Take a look at his only start. He gave up nine runs, six earned, uh, ten hits, four walks, four strikeouts against Cleveland in his only start this year. Take a look here at the defense for the Boston Red Sox. You'll see uh, defensively, Deficient at first and third. The outfield, of course, is magnificent. And behind home plate is Hal King, who has a 75 rating and a 72 rated arm. Okay, Tito Fuentes leading off against Jim Lonborg. Julio L. told me yesterday that when Tito Fuentes would autograph, he would draw a little picture of Cuba. Um, in his uh, autograph. I looked it up. I thought that'd be a fun giveaway, but I only found autographs with Tito Fuentes uh, without the um, the Cuba Islands uh, drawn in. Okay, Tito Fuentes on first with a single. He's definitely been our best hitter. We will hit and run with Manny Sanguian. That is what he does well. 0-1 count. That's a hard hit ground ball to second. That will get Fuentes to second base. And give Jose Cruz a chance here to drive in a run. He's got three extra base hits, all doubles this year. And there it is! Game-tying home run to right center field. Jose Cruz ties up the ball game at two. Got to feel good about having some power as uh, Darren Johnson continues to be blanked. Popping up to third. Two down and Joey Pep. He has one of our home runs. He pulls it into right field for a single. That'll get his average over 300. And Tommy Ag, we just want something from this guy. Not today. Line drive to center field. And that's out number three. Okay, we tie it up thanks to the home run from Jose Cruz. We go to the top of the second inning. And Dalton Jones will lead it off. He's played second base and first base in this series. And Brubaker walks him, the third batter in an inning plus. So, I mean, Brubaker definitely doesn't have it today. We know what's to come. If I pull him now, we could have a chance to actually win. Um... I guess there's always the unknown, and it is the bottom third of the lineup. So maybe we give him a shot here. 2-2 two -two count to Alvarado. There's a ground ball to short. Can Devan start the double play? No. 
We get the force of Jones at second. Alvarado safe at first. Jim Lonborg gonna drop it like it's hot. If Alvarado gets the second, that will be the go-ahead run for sure. Oh, a line drive to first. We double Alvarado off. No, Alvarado gets back. So Lonborg could not get the butt down. Back to the top of the lineup with Rick Miller. And Miller walks. I mean, the only reason this is happening is because he didn't walk anyone the first game, right? So the game has to try to even up the walk to strikeout ratio. It's the only way it operates. And uh, here comes the go-ahead run. Oh, another walk. Okay. So that's it. We cannot allow this to happen. I mean, it's too late now. We'll bring in Ramon Hernandez, who just got beat around the head in his last appearance, giving up three runs, five hits, three walks. I'm assuming he's going to walk in a run here. Sorry. I'm guessing he's going to walk in the run. No? Oh, no, it's a two-run blooper. Okay, so the game's over. We can just get through it now. Jim LaHood. There's the walk. Base is loaded again. Al King. Round ball to second. All right. Bottom of the second inning. Rich Rollins. Popping it up. One out. Jerry Devannon striking out. Oh. Fly ball to center. And we'll let Ramon bat. Down All right. George Scott. Line drive. Dalton Jones. Round ball. Alvarado. No walk. Nope. Base hit. Pitcher. Bob of the third. We're back to Cheeto. Did he get another hit? It does fall in. Fuentes. Not going to run on LaHood. He's got an 81 arm. We'll try to steal. Fuentes has been unsuccessful this year. Am I wrong? He's 0 for 1. I mean, if, if we're going to lose, this is it's going to tell us right now. Nope. All right. Fuentes on second. Nobody out. Let's see how Mansan does. Yeah, hits it to the left side. Fuentes will hold. Jose Cruz. Infield single. That's dumb. This game is stupid on every level. Let's see if Darren Johnson can at least give us a sack fly and not a double play. Oh, that might actually fall in. Get down! Oh, it does fall in. Johnson with a hit. It's four to three. Joey Pep, we're going to hit and run for sure. Stay out the double play with Johnson. Maybe get a run in. Ground ball to second. Cruz ties it up once again. Never say die. Pilots, batters coming through. And a base hit for A.G. Johnson around third. The Pilots take the lead. Seeing some of that clutch gene. Rollins, number three! Oh, my gosh! Rich Rollins. Now, some of you out there are going to say, you got to get Rollins in the everyday lineup somewhere. First base, third base. Look, if we started him every game, he wouldn't be doing this. Like, the game just wouldn't allow it to happen. He'd... Strike out, you know, 10 out of 20 at bats. Go 0 for 20 and even out his record. So it's 7 to 4 in Lomborg. Getting shelled. And we're keeping him in there. Jerry Devan, let's start it again. Fly ball to left. And that'll do it. Okay. What's more impressive? Lahoud having three home runs in a game for his only three hits of the year. Or Rollins having three home runs in just eight at-bats 
pinch hitting and spot starting. I mean, that's kind of amazing. Uh, all right. Uh, we need Hernandez to give us one more. Of course, lefties cannot get lefties out in baseball mogul. We know that. Down three runs, he's stealing. That makes no sense. And, of course, a home run to off of a righty. So this is going to be an entertaining loss for sure. There's an out to a lefty. That's something. Round ball to third. And Hal King. Okay, Hernandez. Taking him out. Let's bring in Van Kelly. Kelly flies out to the left. He's one for five on the year. We are back to Tito Fuentes. He is the catalyst for this team. That's a ground ball to short. And he's saying Guillen. Striking out, of course. So that's how it's going to be the rest of the way, I have a feeling. Um, we've got a long way to go. We've got to bring in John. We have the whole bullpen. The question is, can Gelnar get us one inning where he doesn't give up a run? That's just not his strong suit. It's not his strong suit to not give up runs as a pitcher. Okay, striking out, Boomer. Dalton Jones. A ground ball to first. And Luis Alvarado. Fly ball to center. Hey, there we go. John Gelnar defying all the odds. Pilots are up a run. Jose Cruz, two for two, has a home run today. And that infield single. And a base at the center field. That's a ninth hit for the Pilots. 30% chance of uh, getting a, a double. So we're going to say no. We will steal here. Attempt to steal. We're two for two today. Curveball. And he does steal second base. So that is Cruz's first ba uh, stolen base of the year. Having a 90 speed, he was... 12 for 23 last year. Great job, baseball mogul. Okay, Darren Johnson, this guy's due. He drove in a run today. 1-1. One, one. Oh, ground ball to second. That gets Cruz to third. We're going to go on contact with Joey Pep. Put the ball in play. Cruz will score. Yeah, there we go. Base hit for Pepitone. Eight to six, Seattle, and that's still not enough runs. There's Tommy Ag. That's a double play. Oh, Ag's going to beat it out. All right. Well, oops. Let's see if Ag can steal second base. Seventy-six percent chance. We are three for three today. Outside, caught stealing. Yep. Nice. Okay, we go to the top of the sixth inning. And it's a pinch hitter. It is Dick Schofield. We saw him yesterday. Uh, he went one for three. That was his first appearance of the year. Let's see if Gelnar can get him. That would be nice. Down ball to second. One out, Rick Miller. Oh, two, two count. Striking him out. And Carmen Fanzone, he's got a home run today. One, two. Oh, Geldar. Six outs in a row. That is a miracle. We go to the bottom of the six. Ed Phillips coming in. Uh, last year, he was bad. 544 ERA. He's got a 92 mile an hour fastball. Ground ball percentage is 
Fastball is the only good pitch he has, which is an 88. Overall rated an 80. The 26-year-old righty is arbitration eligible at the end of the 72 season. Okay, Rich Rall. 1-0 count. And a base hit to left. Rall in 6 for 9 with 3 home runs. Let's see if Devanning can drop it like it's hot. H A W T. Brown ball to first. Rollins will advance. He's in scoring position for pinch hitter extraordinaire. Um, well, okay, we don't have a pinch hitter extraordinaire. Uh, I guess Aurelio Rodriguez. Okay, Rod Rodriguez pinch hitting here. Rollins on second with one out. 1-1 one, one count. And a base hit the left. Rollins around third. We are sending him 90% chance. He scores. 9-6 Seattle. Why would Rodriguez not go to second on the throw? I guess if it's a 90% chance, maybe they didn't throw it. I don't know. One down. <laughs> We're going to hit run with Tito Fuentes. Stay out of the double play. Good contact hitter. Ground ball to third. That does get Rodriguez over. Manny Sanguian. One, two count. Get down. Oh, it's going to carry deep enough for Yaz to make the catch. Okay. Rodriguez coming in for defensive purposes. Rollins did what we needed him to do. Um, yeah, we need a new pitcher. We got lefties. Ron Paranowski coming into the ball game. His fourth appearance this year, a couple of innings, a couple of runs, a couple of strikeouts. Okay, here we go. One, two count to Yaz. A comebacker to Paranowski, and he catches it. It's a blind drive. One up. Here's Joe Lahoud. And a double, maybe triple. That's fine. Lefty on lefty violence. First double of the year. He's got four hits. They're all extra base hits. That is baseball mogul for you. Oh, good curveball by Paranowski. Scott batting 136 this year. We're going to intentionally walk him. To get to the lefty which is just the right thing to do in real baseball but this is not this could be a three-run home run in like two seconds here well, come back here to Paranowski and the play's made okay we hold the three-run lead we go to the bottom of the seventh and Jose Cruz will lead it off let's look at the in-game stats there's a lot to look at here Cruz, 3-for-3 three three with a home run. He's likely the player of the game so far. Strikes out. That's what I get for pointing that out. Darren Johnson striking out. And Joey Pep. Nice. Okay, so a couple of things here. Um, Joey Pep will move to first. And then we bring in Johnny Jita to play right. Belanger to play short. And Rip is the only one we got left on the bench. He'll pitch hit. We'll take out Paranoski. We'll bring in Dick. 
Dick Raditz. It's only his third game. Trying to keep the old timer healthy, ready to go. There's a ground ball to second. Fuentes making the play. Pinch hitter. Severino Sanchez. He is the Sanchez. Ground ball up the middle, and Fuentes makes that play as well. Two down. I will let Raditz pitch to, to Miller and the fan zone, and then we bring in our lefty closer to wrap it up. I mean, that had to happen. That was no doubter. Fan zone, 1-0 count. Oh, now that's bullshit. So are they going to score a three-run home run here? Forcing Riddleberger to come in. How many will they score? That is the question. They're going to score two for sure. Pinch hitter. Yeah. Intentionally walk Canigliaro. The game is already over. Get to King. And he pops it up. Can we hold the two-run lead? Yep. Fred wins. Right now, that's wins. He's coming into the ball game. Tommy AG popping up. Oh shit, Riddleberger. Hmm. I guess we have to bring Sanders in anyway because it's righty, lefty, righty. All right, Riddleberger. Coming out. Here's the rimp. I mean, there's nobody on base anyway. Oh, that was a nice job by Dal Rimple hitting that screwball. And Mark Belanger does what he does exactly well, which is to get out. Okay. All we have left in the pen is Sanders and Peters. <laughs> We're going to bring Sanders in who has not given up a run yet. So he is absolutely 150% going to give up a run. Will he give up more runs? That's the question. Am I a more run? That's the other question. That's all right. We already know what's coming. Dalton Jones. This will tie it up right here. Alvarado not capable of hitting home run, is he? Fly ball to center. Pinch hitting. Oh, it's Reggie! Oh, no, Reggie. we got to guard the lines. Oh, shit. Has there been anything more truer than that? Now, Rick Miller can hit a home run. No, he's got a 70% chance. We do have to guard the lines again. We cannot let Smith score. But I think it's already been written. Oh, a ground ball to Aurelio! And that's the ball game. Wow. She probably shouldn't have been that close with scoring five runs in the third, but we'll take it. Handshakes, butt slaps, sloppy stakes, lucky wins. Okay, we have a day off. We need to advance once the game is done simulating. Maybe there's a trade. Maybe other trades are happening. A trade offer to us. They are really mulling it over. Give us your best option. Come on. Anybody, anything. Simulating. Take your time. <laughs> oh, oh, nothing. All that for nothing. Okay, so we'll play one day. That'll get us to the Twinkies. All right, nothing there either. Okay. Let's take a look at the standings. Oh, there's the National League for you. The Mets are on top. Six and two this year. And Houston and San Francisco are tied. Cleveland is six and one. And we're in the middle of the pack, three and four. Okay, well, it could be a lot worse. Headline news, Brainiac Baseball, Daily Bite. 
first place belongs to the Indians. There's Sudden Sam McDowell. Uh, that's all there is? Okay. Transactions, any trades? Oh, no. In fact, only one thing, and that is Gaylord Perry for the Giants is going to miss two months of the season. Oh. That sucks for the Giants. In fact, it looks like he missed a lot of time last year, too. Let's take a look. Yeah, he missed three months last year with a broken hip. Okay. All right. Let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button for me if you can. Unless you didn't like it, then that's okay, too. I get it. Oh, we got Jose Cruz with the homer. We got Rich Rollins with the homer. Player of the game. I mean, I, I think we got to give it to Rich Rollins again. I mean, okay, wait. I think... No, we have to give it to Cruz. He had the shoe and the shot. He had a stolen base and a home run. Three hits, scored three runs. It is Jose Cruz for the Pilots player of the game. We did the right thing, pulling Brubaker out like we had a choice. The game was just going to keep walking batters. Um, a terrible baseball mogul pitching performance, even by baseball mogul standards. We brought in Ramon Hernandez, and Ramon got the victory. Ken Sanders gets the save. Jim Lonborg takes the loss. He was terrible. ERA up to 13.03. Ed Phillips gave up a run. Fred Wenz does not. No errors, no unearned runs for once. That's a miracle. Okay, well, that'll do it. We are going to come back tomorrow, play a brand new series against the Twins back in... Minnesota at the Minnesota at the uh, Metropolitan Stadium. Uh, check out our next video in the series for the Fairfield cards. It's right here. Okay, that's it. We'll be back tomorrow. Until then, everyone, have a great day.